Also with me now is Jared Moskowitz, Democratic congressman from Florida, represents the southeast side of the, the state as well. And uh, Sir, good evening to you, and thank you for your time. I'm not sure if you're in Florida or Washington, D.C., but uh, I, I can see your picture right now. Do you have any information on what's happening in St. Lucie County in that senior community? Yeah, so I'm in South Florida, Bill. Uh, and so I'm about uh, three counties south of St. Lucie. It's not, not too far from here, about an hour and a half from my house. Uh, and, you know, the story coming out of Milton is going to be the triple whammy here. It's going to be the storm surge in Port Charlotte. It's going to be the winds that you're seeing uh, in Tampa and Sarasota. But it's going to be most known for the fact that we had 126 tornado warnings here in Florida, the most in Florida history and the second most ever in American history after 2011 Alabama tornadoes. The story that's coming out of St. Lucie could be very, very dark, unfortunately. If there are 125 mobile homes, that uh, suffered a tornado, people were in those mobile homes. And so I don't have specific details, but I'm hearing the same thing you're hearing, uh, that, that that could wow. be a very grim situation over there. Yeah. You, know, I, you know, I'm just thinking, Congressman, you, your description's exactly right. I, your state on both coasts is now being hit by a hurricane. Yeah, that's right. Um, and Director Kevin Guthrie, uh, of the, who's the Director of Emergency Management, uh, and Governor DeSantis have, have talked about tornadoes and past storms and have talked to people about, hey, you got to pay attention because, yeah, you, you may be in the outer bands, but those outer bands can have tornadoes. And so, uh, you know, we've seen I've seen some of the pictures of the tornado damage across the state in Palm Beach County uh, and, and other places. And so I'm just I'm just hoping um, that that the news that the early news we're hearing out of St. Lucie, it turns out to not be as bad as it, it may appear at the moment. Yeah, let's certainly hope not. I, I don't know what you do tomorrow, but what do you tell your constituents? Because this storm's going to be with us all day on Thursday. And, and then the sun comes up, you know, after the storm clears, and we're left to look around us and see what's left. You know, they, they, they warned us about this storm. It was a Category 5 on Monday. It quickly elevated in strength, and it struck as a Category 3, but that's no solace for the folks on the west coast of, of, of Florida. And... You think now, you know, did we dodge a bullet or not? And I, I, don't think, I don't think Florida did. I think this is a very powerful and very serious storm, even as we speak tonight. Yeah, I think we'll know that when they retire the name Milton and don't use it anymore in hurricanes. And that's how you'll know that this will go down in the history books. I think you're right, Bill. I, it, you know, one area may have dodged a bullet, but, you know, that's, you know, at, you know, another area, you know, took it in the chest. Uh, and so... Look, we're all Floridians. Uh, we're going to band together. The real work will start when the storm, you know, passes. The state will come in, FDM, FDOT, Swift Water Rescue, firefighters, police officers will come in, um, you know, Fish and Wildlife, Department of Agriculture. Everyone's going to come in with all the equipment that they have been stocking to come in and rescue people who need rescue, get the medical attention if they need medical attention. Uh, and then we will start, obviously, with the recovery. We just went through this in Ian just really south to where where uh, where Milton came in. And so, look, Floridians are resilient. We've been through this before. Doesn't make it any easier while we're going through it. They did say this hurricane season was going to be a bad one, and they were right. Yeah. Covered many a storm over the past 20 years in your state, unfortunately, Congressman. And I remember Irma from seven years ago. You have 67 counties, and all 67 were affected by that storm. It's not going to be all 67 counties this time, but it's going to come really close. Thank you for your time. Good luck to you in South Florida. Jared Moskowitz.